In this video, I'm gonna give you an in-depth look and initial review of the Nucleus Church website builder. I'll show you the backend user interface, I'll give you a walkthrough of how I built the website for our church plant, and finally, I'll give my honest opinion on whether or not Nucleus is a better solution for churches versus other popular builders like WordPress, Squarespace, and Wix. Keep watching, and by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea if Nucleus is right for your church. My name is Jake Goslin with churchfront.com, an online resource for innovative and creative church leaders. Subscribe to the channel so you can continue to receive our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church. As most of you know, I'm a worship leader and the majority of content on my channel is about worship ministry. But I am equally as passionate about church marketing and communications. I've been following Brady Shear and his team at Pro Church Tools ever since 2015 and in my opinion, they are the best source for growing in your knowledge of how to leverage digital tools to accomplish the mission of your church. Be sure to subscribe to their channel linked below. A few months ago, they launched Nucleus. It's a new website builder for churches. And I signed up because I had a feeling this would be a better solution for our church than our current Squarespace website. Upon signing up, I created a video explaining why I did it. This video is also linked below. A few days ago, I finally had time to sit down and build our new website on Nucleus. In total, it took me about four hours to build the site. That includes the time I spent watching some of the support videos so I knew what I was doing. The fact that it took me only a half working day to build the site speaks to the simplicity of this builder. At the recording of this video, the website is nearly complete and we've not yet switched over the domain mapping from our Squarespace site. I've included links to both our Squarespace site and Nucleus site below so you can compare them yourself at least until we shut down our Squarespace site in the near future. In the rest of this video, I'm gonna walk you through my experience building out the website and I'll share my initial review of the platform. The first thing I did was watch some of the support videos and read some of the articles inside Nucleus. I was sure to spend some time getting to know how Nucleus works before I went poking around. I'm usually not the type of guy to read directions, but I'm glad I did because the support videos taught me how the builder works in a matter of minutes. That's the way it should be. It's 2018 and you shouldn't have to know how to use code to build a website. Website builders should be drag and drop and that's the case for Nucleus. Even the most technologically inept person can figure it out if they just spend a few minutes watching these tutorial videos. Not long after watching a few of the videos, I was ready to dive in and start building my site. Nucleus sites are built on cards, traditionally known as pages. You build out the site by adding cards. They've created a bunch of card templates for the most critical web pages on your church website. My least favorite part of building a site is filling in all the little details pertaining to what copy you have for headlines and body text. And sometimes I don't even know exactly how to word things properly. Nucleus saves you a bunch of time in this area with templates. For some of the cards on the website, I simply just selected one of their templates and then I went through and changed all references to Hope Church, the placeholder name, uh, for a church to Mission Lakewood and voila, the page was done. Here's the thing with church websites, you don't always need to be original. Whether it's using proven copy or a template with proven user experience, you don't have to try to reinvent the wheel because most likely your wheel sucks. Brady and his team are the experts at digital marketing for churches and Nucleus is their way of doing all the heavy lifting for your website and ensuring you don't mess it up. I'm a pretty web savvy guy and a tech savvy guy and I even prefer using the Nucleus templates rather than building it all from the ground up myself and it just saved me a ton of time. Customizing the cards is easy. You can change the banner image, the color, and then you can use the drag and drop editor to build out the page. As a longtime Squarespace user, I felt right at home. Once I built out the cards, I customized the primary navigation, which is also really easy to do. And then I customized the layout of cards on the home page by putting them in the right order and then hiding the ones that I didn't want to be displayed. I went into the general settings of the website to add the background image, headline, and all the other boring but essential stuff on websites. In a matter of hours, I had the site nearly complete. We use Planning Center for our church management software, so soon we will be integrating our web forms with that. 
We may also switch over to Tidely for giving so that we can have the giving natively integrated into the site. But for now, we're just gonna take Planning Center's giving form and link that in the primary navigation. Let's talk about design. I love how clean this website looks. I'm still going to tweak some of the imagery and colors, but I feel like I'm off to a great start. In desktop mode, the landing page looks like this. You have the big headline and a dominant card on top, which we use for our plan a visit call to action. And then we have other cards below. And here's what it looks like on mobile. You have the logo and navigation hamburger on top, but the dominant feature is the cards. Here's one of the features I'd love to see added to Nucleus. I wish that in mobile view, it would retain the same hero banner layout with a headline and call to action button for our plan of visit card. Then you would just maybe scroll down a little bit and then you could swipe sideways to work through the cards. But it's almost like that would require a fundamentally different user experience than what they've already built here in the mobile version. It's, it's almost as if they designed the mobile version of Nucleus to have more in common with like the swiping of Snapchat instead of the scrolling of Instagram and Facebook. So it's the only aspect of Nucleus that I wish could be different, but in the end, I could be wrong when it comes to mobile user experience. It could be another example of their team knowing what's best for the overall user experience and I just need to accept it. So the best way to kind of get the feel for this website is to check it out yourself. I've included a link to the mission Lakewood Nucleus site below. Make sure you try it in both mobile and desktop mode. In the end, I am totally satisfied with Nucleus and how it accomplishes everything we need in a church website. Soon we will be shutting down the Squarespace site and remapping the domain over to the Nucleus site. This platform is still in its infancy, but already it is crushing it. Brady and his team are continuously updating it with new features, and it's only going to become better over time. In my opinion, I'll come right out and say it, Nucleus is the best website builder for most churches. WordPress, Squarespace, and Wix are fantastic tools. I use Squarespace for all of my non-church websites. But the problem with those platforms is that despite their user friendliness, they're easy to screw up. The Nucleus template may seem restrictive to many, but I think it's doing the majority of churches a favor by removing the guessing game out of web design. It's way more difficult to mess up a church website on Nucleus than it is on any other website builder. Does Nucleus have all the features of WordPress, Squarespace, or a Wix website? No, but it has all the essential elements that a church website actually needs. I've seen it time and time again where church websites are just too complicated. Designers implement novelty features or design at the expense of effective user experience. The goal of your site shouldn't be to wow the user with fancy features. It merely needs to provide them with accurate information in the shortest amount of time possible and call them to take action. That's all your website needs to accomplish and Nucleus does just that. A lot of folks are hesitant about the price of Nucleus because it is considerably more than some of the other subscription website builders. And look, I understand churches are on tight budgets, but if you genuinely care about growing your church and reaching people in a digital age, and, and maybe you don't care about this, but if you do genuinely care about this, you must be willing to invest into software services like a website builder. In the grander scheme of things, $79 a month is nothing for a tool as valuable as your church website. It's the first touch point for nearly everyone who considers visiting your church. And it's a significant resource for your existing members. If $79 a month or even $200 dollars a month is too expensive to invest in something as important as your website, then your church probably has some issues prioritizing its budget. And I know that may sound a bit harsh, but pricing is the biggest complaint I hear about Nucleus, and I know that's what's holding a lot of you back from giving it a try. One last thought on price, and as you can tell, I'm pretty opinionated on this stuff because I'm passionate about it, and I want churches to understand this. I was recently listening to one of Craig Grishel's leadership podcasts, and he talks about how great leaders, they don't spend spend money, they invest money. Anything you buy for your church needs to be viewed as an investment, and that includes your website builder. You put money into it now, knowing that in the future, it's gonna bring you a greater return. Let's break this down and make it even more practical. Let's say you have a great effective website because you built it on Nucleus, and it helps bring one new family to your church, and they happen to be people who are dedicated members who actually tithe, and assuming that they make an average household income and they tithe 10%, they'll be bringing your church somewhere around $7,000 in annual giving revenue. The most expensive version of Nucleus costs $2,400 a year. 
the math makes it a no-brainer. What if your website is what gets five, 10, or 20 new families in the door for the first time? And hopefully your church is good enough and a welcoming enough place where they wanna stick around and give. That's how you have to think about this type of expense. Your website is the first impression of the majority of potential new visitors that you're gonna have. If they convert into giving members of your church, then the investment is more than worth it. Okay, so my rant about church finance and investing is over. Again, I'm just super passionate about this stuff because I think in the end, this type of stuff, this type of investment is going to help you grow your church. I'm excited to see Nucleus continue to improve over time. And I'll probably make another video a few months down the road to report our experience having the website live for a few months. I still need to integrate it with Planning Center, MailChimp, and Giving. So I'll probably dive into those integrations in that video. Go to Nucleus.Church to check out the website builder for yourself. And before signing up, make sure you read the blog post that Brady wrote over there. It's a ton of high quality free content to help you better understand the importance and role of your church website. And once you know even a small amount of web design best practices, you'll see why Nucleus is a great and arguably the best option for churches. And finally, I was not paid to make this video. I do not have an affiliate link for this website builder. I am simply sick and tired of churches having lousy websites. Nucleus will solve this problem for so many of you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button and share it with your friends. You can watch some related videos over here and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can continue to receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church.